Hey, how's it doing? I'm back. Okay, um... I'll just drink my coffee here as well. We're going to continue where we left off. I paused because sometimes when you're doing a project like this, you know, you need a break. And I most assuredly did. Okay, where were we up to? Ah, yeah, here. So, hold down shift. And I'm leaving a gap for the kind of darker, deeper area that I want to go into as well, so... There we are. Yeah, that's fine. Now I'm going to move along a bit. There's not a lot of along to move to, to be quite honest, so... Start here. I'm just trying to be careful not to go too far up. Don't worry about overlap, by the way. I mean, you know, you can be as precise as you want. I'm not being some really kind of in a hurry with this not because I want to lower the quality of the sh stuff that I'm producing by all means but uh, simply because I've got a lot of stuff that I've got to get through as you can imagine so just move this along a bit more my dear darling George will be back from school in a few minutes as well benefit of a home office people uh, just undo that mistake I made there and one here quite a lot of kind of unique shapes in this really Okay, I accidentally paused. Um, what I've got here now is uh, 80, 80, 80. And I'm going to use this to basically fill in the gaps over here in between these parts. So Again, I'm using Shift just to kind of constrain this to, I suppose you'd say to an axis in 3D, but we're not. We're just constraining it to horizontal or vertical. down here. You're obviously going to have to clean up this model a lot more than I am. You know, I mean, I'm taking out a lot of the rough edges, but I'm still going to have quite a few left in, so, I mean, really do take your time more than I'm going to be doing. Because I didn't realise it was paused, some of the areas on the other side are done. So I apologise for that if you really do get into the whole end-to-end -end thing and you're absolutely desperate to see me doing this kind of two times more than I really have to. As I say, don't worry that I'm making it a bit uneven in places in my tutorial. You will have a lot more time than I do. And busy day, I got an email there. Let's check I'm not paused. Oh, good, I'm not. And uh, these darker areas, obviously, whoops, a daisy. These darker areas, obviously, are going to be lower down, displaced to appear as if they're more recessed, unless I invert it, which I'm not going to. I mean, you could have it sticking out the other way if you want. It's uh, entirely up to you, I suppose. There we go. check at the bottom. That's fine. Pull out. Now you can see I'd already done this side here because I paused by mistake. These things happen. Right. 
Now, this part in here I'm going to have recessed as well, so... just need to make sure I'm getting this bit right. And I'm going to have to work the gradient on this in just a moment. So, in here... <laughs> I thought I had marquee on, I was just drawing on it wildly there. I'll make sure you've got... Uh, I'll show you in a second... Hang on. Make sure you've got this on here for the overlap, yeah? That way it's additive selection rather than uh, doing things one thing at a time. Makes things a lot easier. Think of it like a Boolean. Except, uh, unlike 3D Studio Max, this one works. Okay. Let's a bit. Nice and dark. So obviously every piece we do after this, we're going to make a little bit darker. All right. As I say, I'm not too worried about being massively precise here. You probably will want to be massively precise. There we go. Now, at the moment, it's 80s, so let's make it... 65. There we go. It's quite a bit darker. Okay. And, let's see... The inside of these window frames here, then. So I'm going to select here, just to select it all, and then use this. Subtractive selection. There's a double frame in here, so we're going to have to make it darker again. There we are. So, for this one, that was 65, this will be 55. The thing about this is we can just use the colour picker after this. Okay, and again. Control, oops, wrong one. Control, Shift, I, just to invert that. And again, just do a cutout. I mean, you can do it the way we did it before if you want, but uh, I don't mind. Remember, you can't make mistakes in Adobe Photoshop. They're just happy little accidents. And you can't make mistakes in 3D Studio Max. They're just blue screens of death. Okay, and 45. 45, 45. There we are. Oops, got a little bit there. I'm going to have to undo this bit. I <laughs> hate doing that. There should be a big button called Unmess Up the Stuff What Chris Did. However, it would be the most overused button in Photoshop, I think. Okay, that's not bad. Next, I'm going to use the Wand Select down here again and this time we're going to change it to 20 well 25 and just use the paint bucket tool not 
bad. A little bit of touch up is going to be needed at the edges there, I think. Can't really let these edge pieces be this light, otherwise, there'd be going to be problems. Oh, I need to use additive, not deductive or subtractive or whatever the hell. Okay, control D. Sorry, I wanted to use the brush tool, not the stick. here that needs to be fixed, as you can see. A bit uneven. I'm going to stop after this bit again, and we'll come back to it in just a moment, though. Wrong colour. Pick a tool. Way better. Control D. Same again here. And there. Okay, that's absolutely fine. Right, so I'll see you in the next part. Thanks for watching.